Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Or to the channel in today's video, we're going to go over uh, the 6 0. So, I come across uh, the other day on my phone. It has been one year today that we tuned the 6 0. Uh, so, we're going to get into that kind of like a review style video. Uh, but first, the 300 key. I uh, did a custom license plate for a buddy of mine. I got to go meet him up here in Greenbrier. Um, so, also, if uh, you're noticing the Ultima, <laughs> that is actually um, my sister's new car. So, this car, uh, my sister, Jordan, my oldest sister, um, she had this car for a little while. She sold it to our grandma when she got a new car. Um, and then now my mom is buying it for uh, my youngest sister. So we put struts on it uh, yesterday. But anyway, I'm gonna take this license plate up here, meet him, and uh, well, I guess I'll catch y'all when we get back. All right, so uh, it is a little bit later. Uh, we'll just leave 300 over there. But it is a little bit later. And if you're wondering why these are over here, uh, typically we'll switch. Uh, so I'll park over here one week. And then when we mow, we'll take them back over there. And uh, Yeah, so that's why they're over here. But either way, uh, it's been a bit since I actually started the 6 so, um super busy this week and then get to mow so, yards a little higher than normal that's why but 60 has just been kind of hanging out here uh has it been started or moved in about two weeks uh which sucks but like i said have been busy so it is uh today's actually memorial day weekend and i got to thinking a while ago it's nice outside. Uh, this thing ain't went nowhere in a while. Uh, so we'll fire it up and uh, we'll take it for a little little drive. Um, and even the plastic getting kind of slimy. So at some point, I gotta figure out a place to park this old guy and uh, out of the sun. But either way, I'm going to uh, roll the windows down. And we're going to talk about the first year, whole year, with the 6.0 tuned with blessed performance tunes. Okay, sorry for the weird angle. I got y'all behind this uh, grab handle. Because um, if I move y'all over, you get a uh, glare from the sun. <laughs> anyway, um, now on the 6.0. Like I said, it's been uh, right out of year a couple days ago. Um, and we got 2,600 miles since last oil change. That was when the oil cooler went out. So uh, I put like, I think it was like 900 miles on it um, from that point to tune, which was like a week and a half um and then the rest of that has been in the last year so what is that if we do the math 25 caught 2600 miles 1600 miles on the tunes um which you know for some people um some vehicles i.e the light truck um, that's a bunch of miles um for a year the white truck maybe 50 60 miles a year uh, the 300 since i finished it uh almost a year ago i've put 8,000 miles on it i think something like that almost 10,000. but um either way for this truck being as this truck the air refuses to work um and I have an idea about that that we're going to try to get to um, when we're not as busy. So, <laughs> I've been messing with the laser engraving and 
whatnot uh, pretty heavily. Uh, the other night, I stayed in there till midnight working on some stuff. So, if you don't follow the second channel, I'll put a picture up here on the screen and a link in the description. But, like I said, been messing around with that a lot. Uh, and I think this coming week, we're going to go and I'm going to file my business paperwork uh, to get that whole deal rolling. Um, ooh, and that's no oh boy no uh anyway um so i've been so busy working on that and a bunch of other stuff i've actually got two packages in uh one's with the white truck and one's with the blue truck um that's been here since last week uh just haven't gotten to so <laughs> that's a uh, unfortunate kind of like this being cracked so now I'm probably going to have to look for another airbag because that is going to bother me. Um, yeah, I know this is not the right airbag for this truck anyway, but that, uh, yeah, that's, that's no good. But anyway, so sorry if y'all getting any wind noise, but um, I didn't want to mention with this truck, Bless Performance did sponsor the tunes. Uh, I have three tunes for the truck. I've actually never tried any of them, except for the one that it's running now, which is the EcoBeast tune, which I believe is 90 to 130 horsepower, I believe, overstock. Uh, I don't remember that. Don't quote me on that. Something like that. Um, so that's what I've been running on the truck ever since, and I have been super, super happy with the tune in general. Now, with that being said, the truck does need a retune, um, but nothing, it's not an issue. Uh, it needs retuned for the wheels and tires. So this truck was tuned when it had the 20s and 33s, now it's got the 24s and 35s. Uh, so the speedometer's off. Uh, in turn, I believe the mileage is probably a little off uh, as well. Uh, so calculating fuel mileage who knows <laughs> um, but anyway uh, the truck on the stocks did pick up fuel mileage picked up power uh, the thing was great it drove great it shifted good the shifts were firm uh, but not super harsh so one thing I know a lot of people complain about blessed uh, tunes with the transmissions and shifting uh, you can go into your tuning device and you do a reset and then it essentially you relearn uh, the transmission and the driving cycles and all that kind of thing. So essentially with that um, you will take uh, lock the steering wheel. you'll take your gear selector uh, you'll put it in first gear um, now in the video I'd explain this a little more but you do like 25% throttle through the gears up to uh, a certain point. You stop, you back to first gear, 50% throttle through the gears, 75 through the gears, and 100 through the gears. Um, and that kind of relearns everything. And then you go out and you drive it and it kind of fines tune, kind of fine tunes things. Um, so this truck, like I said, uh, this truck drives great. It shifts good. You know, everything, everything's great. Um, and if you're wondering what all is done to this truck, uh, I'll give you a little rundown. Uh, starting at the very front, we have, as far as like engine goes, we have a Alloy Works uh, aluminum radiator and degas bottle, which, <clears throat> while we mention that, there's a discount code down below for Alloy Works. Um, I'm running the radiator and degas bottle in here running their uh, radiator and electric fan set up in the white truck. Uh, but <clears throat> regardless, and I have electric fans for this, uh, if I ever get a truck for towing and I don't need to tow with this truck anymore, I'll take and put the electric fans in this. Uh, but from everybody I've talked to, it says towing with electric fans on one of these is a no-go. But regardless, Alloy Works, uh, electric, or here we go with electric fans <laughs> factory fan aluminum radiator 
aluminum degas bottle. Uh, we have a just a eBay special cold air intake that actually let me I'll get out and show you that we powder coated powder coated charge pipes 0304 cold air charge pipe uh, um, Ishimoto oil cooler upgraded EGR no it is not deleted I don't want to hear about it it is not deleted um, come on now there we go so like I said aluminum radiator aluminum degas bottle uh, which this thing is a little low on coolant um, eBay special cold air intake powder coated purple 0304 cold air charge pipe uh, charge pipes are powder coated uh, the same as this and the radiator brackets um, but other than that engine wise up here that's really it uh, now we do have a beans diesel sump back here as well as a fast 140 um, and like I said I mean that's factory turbo uh, it is straight piped still has the cat yeah so um, we're we're legal here folks <laughs> um, but factory turbo factory injectors uh, it does have a new Fickum but it is just a factory Fickum that is something else I do want to talk to Matt about I know they recently started offering Fickum tunes but that is something I would like to talk to Matt about but I've been thinking about getting a turbo for this thing so that's why I haven't yet and that's why I haven't really bothered with uh, you know the whole like retune thing with the bigger wheels and tires so anyway we'll figure about out about that but anyway we'll fire this whole thing up if the batteries aren't too low oh yeah we're good so i'm gonna take this whole thing on a little drive around and uh whatnot i'm gonna pull up here get my phone charger and my wallet that'd probably be handy to have but i mean like i said i mean things just good <laughs> uh, and that's kind of why I'm not they roll the windows up uh, but that's why I haven't like really really jumped on getting a turbo and you know doing all that stuff I mean this truck has 266,000 miles on it um, but it's it's so good the way it is and that's the fan if you're wondering um, so it's kind of hot today but it's just so it's so good the way it is i don't want to ruin it uh the 300 is the same way so with the 300 i want to do a bunch of stuff to it but i've been doing a crap ton of research trying to figure out what i want to do to that car because uh, i don't want to ruin it um you know like with turbo i don't want a real laggy turbo you know i don't want to do that with this now one day i want to get one of these and i want to build like a race truck uh and then that absolutely let's go let's send it we break it who cares you know all that kind of thing but but like i said i don't want to ruin it um i like how the truck is now where you can just kind of get in it and go cruise and whatever if the air worked it would be real good um but like i said i think i have an idea for something that might be an issue with that because uh, if y'all remember, I have put three relays in this thing, two high pressure switches, two low pressure switches, uh, a, a evaporator. Um, we've charged the system two, no, maybe four times, three or four times. Um, we changed O-ring on the the condenser. Uh, and a few other things. We changed the compressor, we changed the orifice tube three different times, um, and it 
refuses to work. So, with that being said, I do have another idea of something, and I actually already have the part. Uh, it's in storage, I think. It's in the shop. Uh, but either way, we're gonna try that one day when we get a little bit of time. But anyway, I'm gonna run in here. I'm gonna grab my wallet and a uh, phone charger. And we're gonna take this little guy on a little ride around because like I said, it is super nice out today. Uh, and I figured it's nice. I haven't really been anywhere in the truck in a while. And uh, you know, why not? Anyway, don't mind this, I thought that caveman. <laughs> But one thing I've been meaning to do is I want to talk to Matt over at Blessed because, I mean, like I said, it's kind of what this whole video is about, is the tunes. Jesus, it's smoky, too. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera. Anyway, um, neighbor over here is burning. But anyway, um, and that's, that's bad. <laughs> I don't know what he's burning. But um I know a lot of people will say, well, you can't say these are the best tunes because you haven't run all the other ones. I get it, you know, whatever. Um, but at the same time, I will also say that the reason I haven't run any other tunes is I've never seen the need to. Um, this thing's fantastic as it is. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of on a mid-range tune, so I could turn it down a little bit. I could put a stock tune back on it. Um, I could put the race tune on it and make more power if I wanted to. Um, but this tune's kind of a good middle ground um, in the truck to awesome as it is. So, like I said, I mean, I haven't really found a need to run a uh, tune from a different company or, you know, whatever. Um, but, like I said, I do want to get it retuned for tire size. Uh, but, I don't know. I want to talk to Matt and see what he recommends as far as turbos, injectors, um, you know, intakes, all of that kind of thing. Uh, because like I said, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to make it like the white truck where you don't want to drive it. Um, because it's not as, not as comfortable, not as this, not as that. Um, that's been one of the, one of the holdups. So, um, anyway, I'm going to talk to him, see what he says. Um, and then I guess we'll figure something out. So, anyway, guys, we are by no means finished with the 6.0. There's still a bunch of stuff I want to do with this truck. Um, but I've been talking to some companies, and, you know, I want to try to figure out uh, some good companies to work with on some cool products. Um, I mean, there's been a few companies hit me up wanting to do this or wanting to do that. And I'm not saying they're not good products. They're just not something... I find interesting myself, so um, that's just this is kind of that. But I do want to work with some companies on this because I like, you know, like for instance the Rock Lights, right? I don't know. You might can be able to see. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the Rock Lights we just did in one of the last videos, um, you know, stuff like that. I was I thought that was super interesting. Get out of here, dirt dollar. Uh, but I thought they were super interesting rock lights, um, being as they're like a dual color type deal, which like I said, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so, you know, stuff like that is really what I'm looking for with everything. Or like another example, steering wheel. I mean, you can see this steering wheels, seen better days, 266,000 miles on a leather wrapped steering wheel. Yeah, it's 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 yeah uh it's been through it but um i've been looking at companies talking about talking to a few about a steering wheel for this uh because i want to do something a little different kind of match the the purple and that's that's all i'm gonna say um but i do want to do some stuff like that and also at the same time i want to do a few things that were factory options uh like for instance this bezel so this is a wood grain bezel, wood grain truck, um, lariat, leather seats, and all that. Uh, but I believe in the King Ranches, you could actually get these with the same wood grain, uh, but these were tan. 
uh, the same thing with um, this stuff on the door panel. So I would like to get, I think I would like to do those and uh, go all tan in here except for the headliner. Uh, and the headliner I don't intend to redo. I kind of wish I would have done it tan because as you can, you can see all the dirt and whatever in it. It needs a good cleaning. But um, I figured for the stars, which you can barely see, um, I figured black would show the best. So that's kind of that. But I mean, stuff like that, I still want to, uh, I got my keys. Yes. Okay. Um, but stuff like that, I do want to do, uh, I want to get some of the mats. Like I got the 300, um, stuff like that. Um, another thing I want to get the new style tailgate rear bumper, paint the bumpers. Um, that is a large rock. <laughs> Golly, that'd have been a, that'd have been a good rock chip. But stuff like that, uh, paint the mirrors, get those done, do different grill. You know, like I said, I mean, there's there's lots of stuff I still want to do. Um, so I'm sure we'll do it at some point. It's just, like I said, been super busy with uh, all this other stuff. But you can't expect a... Uh, white truck video coming up because the stuff is sitting in the shop and I need to get that video done like this week uh, so you can expect a video there uh, the same thing with the blue truck the blue truck will probably be the first video um, I don't know I haven't decided yet but that's uh that's stuff coming up I've been talking to some folks about some stuff for the Chrysler uh, and a few other things um, I'm not going to ramble too much about that, but anyway, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap for this one. Uh, I got to get back in here, do a few more things, um, working on a few videos with the, with the second channel, like I mentioned. Um, so again, if you haven't checked out the second channel, please do so. I would appreciate it, but anyway, guys. Let me turn this way better lighting uh, i've been working on some videos trying to get a bunch of videos stacked up for that and then uh i want to jump back into the automotive content heavy heavy um so stay tuned guys i haven't forgot about y'all i'm not giving up on this channel or nothing the car stuff is like my first priority um i'm just trying to get everything else out of the way if you will that way we can get back to the cool stuff and uh, the stuff that I really, really enjoy doing. Um, but anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to be a wrap for this one. So with that being said, if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, I will drop a link for Blessed Performance down below. But like I said, if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.